What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Passion of Business TV Network, helping you transition your passion into the business that you love. And very quickly, I uh, was looking for some information on how to add an RSS feed to uh, my Buffer account. Now, if you aren't familiar with Buffer, I have to do a review at a later time. However, Buffer helps to schedule out content so that you don't have to go in every single day and manually add in everything you want to share. You can kind of schedule out for the week, for the month, and so forth. It has a lot of great features, but like I said, I'll get into that in a later video. However, it became a very, very painful process just trying to figure out how to add an RSS feed. Everybody's talking too long. It's just, it's not that difficult. So I wanted to do a quick video just to kind of help out with that. First thing that you want to do is go over and uh, we're down in the description i'll post just this basic link what you want to do is copy this and you want to throw it in a notepad or what have you um, and you want to go over to your buffer page this is specifically just to find the um, this is how to add it to buffer to add that feed in so that you can pull content information so that you're able to just uh, upload that to whatever social media platform as you can see these are some of mine over here on the side but then also uh, like i say it already has the link uh, of where you can find that information as well as the title of whatever that uh, particular video it'll pull in images and so forth um, so the one thing i wanted to do was add in a feed for my youtube page so once you grab this link go over to your channel when you see this forward slash channel you want to grab everything behind that and you want to paste that into the link below copy all of this and this is now the feed that you would need for your YouTube channel or any channel that you want to follow actually uh, so we're gonna jump back over to buffer add in the feeds add and remove feeds and I just want to paste that right in there and when it pulls that up it kind of has that uh, look like a Wi-Fi symbol almost passionate business TV it's going to add it in so even if I wanted to have a content from other places or you know other platforms that I wanted to share if you use RSS feed in any other way this will help you if you just wanted to grab an RSS RSS feed for any other YouTube channel so hopefully this video was able to help you out and as you can see it already pulled up some content there and I can start adding in those different things start sharing the videos and so forth but buffer is a really great tool like I said I'll get into more details on this on a different video uh, but a real quick question of the day how are you guys sharing your information for your small business what tools and resources are you using or do you even use rss feed so uh, hopefully this video was able to help you out but as always guys live with passion i will talk with you guys later take care everyone bye